above, you've come to the right place. And now I'm going to be passing along to um, Cindy, who will be our first speaker, Cindy Ahrens. Thank you very much, Ken. So I'm going to give you a pretty quick overview. Like Ken said, we'll take questions at the end. Um, Article 29 asks to file a home rule petition that would allow the town of Lexington to create and enforce a bylaw amendment that would prohibit fossil fuel infrastructure in new construction and major renovations. Recommended by the Sustainable Lexington Committee, this article is a result of months of collaboration with Lexington Global Warming Action Coalition, Mothers Out Front Lexington, and LPS Green Teams, who together with Sustainable Lexington Committee make up the Clean Heat for Lexington Alliance. Article 29 aligns with state and local climate goals to renew, reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The Massachusetts Global Warming Solutions Act of 2008 commits to 80% reduction by 2050. The Lexington Select Board adopted the goal of net zero by 2043, and in our recent climate emergency declaration, town meeting overwhelmingly pledged to our young citizens that we'll achieve it, we'll achieve it by 2035. Fortunately, the recipe for re reaching zero emissions or 100% clean energy is relatively simple. We electrify our buildings and our cars, and then we green the, and we green the grid. This is a snapshot of Lexington's emissions from around 2015. Since then, our electricity has gotten greener each year due to state requirements to increase renewable emission-free energy production and our town's participation in the Community Choice Aggregation Program. On the other hand, fossil fuel combustion in buildings, more than 80% of which is for space and water heating, represents a prime opportunity for decarbonization. Article 29 is a practical and cost effective is practical and cost effective in targeting electrification of new buildings and major renovations. As every building we build today with fossil fuel infrastructure defeats Lexington's emission goals and will require an expensive retrofit in the future. We've come to learn that natural gas is not the clean energy solution we thought it was. In addition to harming surrounding plants and inhabitants, methane released from gas line leaks is 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide in terms of global warming effect. Gas combustion from home appliances can cause indoor pollution levels higher than that of EPA limits for outdoor air. And although rare, Massachusetts has seen a number of gas explosion disasters, including one in Lexington in 2005. We need to begin the transition away from natural gas. Fortunately, clean heat solutions exist in the form of heat pumps. Heat pumps are very different from electric resistance heaters, which are expensive and inefficient. A heat pump uses electricity and refrigerants to move heat from one location to another providing both heating and cooling. Heat pump technology has improved greatly in recent years with efficiency ratings from 200 to over 400%. Cold climate air source heat, comes, heat pumps can be highly effective down to five degrees Fahrenheit and some work down to negative 17 degrees Fahrenheit below the coldest winter nights in our area. They can and do work as the sole source of heating in winter. Here in Lexington, many buildings use heat pumps without any backup heat. So one might ask, if the electric grid is powered by fossil fuels anyway, isn't burning fossil fuels directly in a building more efficient? Actually, the current grid, with the current grid growth in Massachusetts 18, at 18% renewable in, in energy and growing at 2% each year, and with the Lex, Lexington's Community Choice Aggregation Program offering 100% renewable energy, 38% of which is local, heat pumps provide immediate emissions benefits over burning fossil fuels in buildings. When we get the entire electric grid 100% renewable, the benefits are even more staggering. Heat pumps are affordable. Studies by the Rocky Mountain Institute and Conservation Law Foundation both show that compared to natural gas, heat pumps cost less to install due to rebates, incentives, and the fact that this is a two-in-one heating and cooling system. Operational costs can be lower in the long term as well. And when compared to operation costs of propane or oil, heat pump savings are even more significant. Lexington's affordable housing and municipal buildings are already leading the way, creating healthier, more resilient buildings by way of electrification. Combined with good insulation, on-site solar ge energy generation, the long-term maintenance and operation costs are saving the town and its tenants money. So again, just to review the, the bylaw, this proposed bylaw asks to prohibit new fossil fuel piping in new construction and major or gut renovations. 
This is expected to affect about 100 buildings or approximately 1% of Lexington building stock each year. It will not affect existing buildings. It will not affect kitchen or other sorts of smaller innovations. It won't affect additions. There's also a number of practical exemptions in the bylaw for new piping within any new construction or major renovation projects. This includes piping for cooking and outdoor appliances, fireplaces, backup generators, for hot water heating for buildings over 10,000 square feet, and for space heating and life science lab and medical facilities. Repair of existing piping is also exempted. In the event that exemptions do not capture cases of undue expense or burden, a waiver process exists. And we, by setting the effective date of December 2022, we have adequate time for planning and preparation and education, like what we're doing tonight. Finally, a quick clarif clarification of why a home rule petition is needed. The town of Brookline passed a similar bylaw in 2019, and Attorney General Mara Healy found that while she strongly supported the policy goals of the bylaw, it was preempted by existing state law. Therefore, we need a home rule petition to allow the a municipality's bylaw to supersede current state code. Home rule petitions are common. For example, Article 6 passed in our 2020 special town meeting had a home rule component. The towns of Brookline and Arlington overwhelmingly passed, passed home rule petitions and bylaws very similar to Article 19, and more towns are following suit. In conclusion, clean electric heating is healthy. It's affordable and comfortable. Article 29 is a practical, cost-effective, and necessary step for Lexington to reduce greenhouse gas, emis gas emissions, to reduce pollution, to prioritize the health of its inhabitants, and meet our state and local goals. From all of us at the he Clean Heat for Lexington Alliance, we hope that you will support Article 29. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy the very informative um, sessions that are coming up. Uh, we do want to hear from you. If you have questions or concerns, bring them up tonight, visit our website. Uh, we have an email address, reach out to us. We 